I brought the races of Super Mario Kart into the Halo universe using only Halo's Forge mode. I found the original map files and copied every detail as closely as I could. Every turn, every pipe and jump, tree, rock. I made sure that every detail was as close as I could get it. I even made sure that the lap times were the same and made a custom game mode to give features like the five lap race that were in the original game. I decided I wanted the races to still be Halo races, but utilize the maps and art style of Mario as much as possible. These would have no power-ups or mods, but would be the perfect layout from the original game from 92, down to the shortcuts and boost pads. I started out just making the first map, Mario Circuit 1. I looked up the layout of the map in a video of someone racing it on the original game. I would look at the top-down map, lay out my pieces in Forge, and mark the shape I needed it to be. Then watching the YouTube video from the original race, I could get the scale right for the Halo race in a civilian hog. I would take an average of all the laps in the video and make sure that a lap on my course took about the same amount of time. I had a lot of fun creating the visuals and trying to turn a two-dimensional Mario game into a three-dimensional Halo race. I wanted to make sure that all the maps had different challenges to them and felt different to race. One of the biggest challenges in creating these maps is the forge item limit. This made it so that every detail I made for the maps had to be as minimalistic as I could make it so that I could have enough of the forge budget left to create the rest of the map. I gave the map some test laps and called on my friends for a race. We had so much fun on the first map that I decided I would go ahead and make the first cup, the mushroom cup. I did almost all the map creation on stream on my Twitch channel, and all my friends were anxious to play. Every time I finished a new map, everyone was ready to give it a race. The Mario Circuit maps were very flat with lots of drifting and pipes to dodge. On the other hand, the Donut Plains maps I made very bumpy and off-road heavy. The Ghost Valley maps are fast and narrow, while the Bowser Castle maps are long and intense with lots of places to bump other racers off the track and into the lava. We had so much fun with the first cup that I knew I had to complete the game. I was actually really enjoying making the maps and the various challenges that I faced along the way, eventually building up to the infamous Rainbow Road, which would prove to be as difficult to build as it is to race. But first there were three more cups, bringing in a couple new types of maps with them. The Vanilla Lake maps were quite difficult to make due to their jagged edges, especially Vanilla Lake 2. But the hardest map was yet to come. By the time I finished, I had created 20 maps every race from the original game. I made these maps over two years ago, before Halo Infinite even came out. At the time, I didn't research if anyone had made similar maps before, I just knew I wanted to make them and race them with my friends. However, when I recently decided to make this into a YouTube video, I did a little research to see if anyone had done something similar. I found some videos of people who created mods and stuff, but my races were created in vanilla Halo Forge with no mods or anything, so anyone could download and play them. If you want to download my Forge maps, I will do everything I can to make them accessible for free in my Discord. All these maps were playtested with and still get raced with members of my Twitch community and Discord, so make sure to follow in those places at Perkinator13. I did as good as I could with these maps, but they aren't perfect. One of the biggest difficulties to perfect was the respawning, especially on Rainbow Road and the Ghost Valley maps. Sometimes on Bowser Castle too. Occasionally a racer will fall off of the map and explode, and then when they respawn, they'll respawn several checkpoints back, maybe even half of a lap. I think it happens because as other racers drive by, they occupy the respawn zone. But I'm not entirely sure, so if you have a theory about how I can fix that, let me know. Now, I'll talk about Rainbow Road when we get there, but in the meantime, I'm going to let you see all the other maps. If you want to skip ahead to where I talk about Rainbow Road, here's the time code. Fair warning though, this would make you miss some of the coolest maps.
And now, finally, Rainbow Road. This map, of course, would be very difficult to race, and with as much testing as all the maps required, it took a pretty long time to make. I colored all of the track pieces like in the original game, and I thought it looked pretty cool. This is the narrowest of all of the races. Some parts are actually impossible to drive side by side, it's just wide enough for one warthog to fit. I thought about making the map wavy or putting jumps in like you see in the later Mario Kart maps, but I decided to stick with the flat track that was an accurate representation of the original game. Despite the spawning issues that still occasionally occur, this map is one of the favorites for its challenges and dramatic moments. After finishing the racing maps, I made the battle maps too, and those were perfect for goss hogs on rally races. The checkpoints spawn randomly, and the hogs are invincible to goss blast, but the knockback can send you over the edge or pummel you into the wall while the other team gets the checkpoints. These are super fun, and I could make a video about these too if you guys are interested. We had so much fun with these races that I decided to start some from Mario Kart 64, which are very three-dimensional and are super fun to race, but I only made a few. If you'd be interested in a video about the Mario Kart 64 maps and want me to create that whole game too, let me know in the comments and I will. If you enjoyed this video and these maps and want to support more creations and community games, then please leave a like and subscribe here on YouTube. Check out my other socials for clips and updates, all Perkinator13. Perkinator on YouTube, Perkinator13 everywhere else. Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Thank you for watching this video, and enjoy the races.